Hey guys, it is Miki Sama Unlimited, and today I'm doing an extremely rare cards edition for you guys. For the people that don't know this about me and that are new to the channel, I am a hardcore collector in Yu-Gi-Oh! I overall like a lot of exclusives kind of things, and one of the cards that I tackled recently in the extremely rare cards edition was Batty. Batty was a part of the DM set, and it was a set of 10 cards from 1998, and it came out in July, and it's from an old PlayStation game. I'll probably have it like linked over here that you guys could see what the PlayStation game used to look like. But a good little example is because I would like to disclaim this first. The set came out with 10 promotional cards. Batty was one, Blue Eyes White Dragon was the next, Demoness, Dinosaur Wing, Iranoid, Mystical Elf, Red Scorpion, Runner Lizard, Sonic Eye, and Zork. I eventually at one point would like to get all 10 of these cards and have my own DM set because obviously it's so cool. For the people that don't know, this is what one of the DM cards looks like. This is what the DM Blue Eyes looks like. The stars are all in rainbow foil. These cards were made by Konami, but before Konami turned Yu-Gi-Oh cards differently into what we know them as today. That's why I actually really like these. And the other one I was able to get was Batty. So I had Batty and Blue Eyes and I wanted to get another one. I went from having Batty and Blue Eyes and now I have a new edition. I have Sonic Eye. Sonic Eye looks just so strange. It's just basically a bird with like an eye in its mouth. <laughs> But we're going to get on into this. For the people that want to know, this is what the backs of the DM cards looks like. It has the Konami logo on top. They have a very strange, different background. And these cards are much thicker and bigger than most Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They feel like they have some kind of weird, thick foil on them. I don't even know how to describe them. One quality that I also like is if you look like really close on the bottom, it says like not for sale, but it's probably not going to catch it. And on the back of it, it says Monster Capsule Breed in Battle. He is a level 5 monster with 1200 attack and 1000 defense. If anyone looks in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikipedia for the Monster Capsule Breed in Battle, it was basically the Capsule Breed in Battle was basically the chess version in the manga. So if anyone's interested to know more about that, you could easily just look in the Wikipedia for that and you could just learn more about all these. Now, originally, I bought this card pretty much almost right after I got Batty because I bought Batty, I think, for like 80 bucks. And then I think I bought Sonic Eye for like, I think, 45 Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just they're so interesting interesting they're so unique they're so special and so weird and it's funny because at the end of the day I always love treating Yu-Gi-Oh cards much different from most Yu-Gi-Oh cards because at the end of the day I could easily go out of my way buy a few cards that I desperately need and say oh you know this is $40 this is whatever but at the end of the day something could easily get nerfed and hit or reprinted and loses all of its value I just love holding Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are like this that are nice and vintage and they just overall will always hold their value and always be unique and sought after by some collectors in Yu-Gi-Oh and I just think that that's just so cool looking at this when I bought it from the seller the seller said this card was published for the promotion of the game Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters DM number one. Much earlier than the recent Konami card and is very hard to get today, so please don't miss your great opportunity. I know that they say that to everybody, but me personally, it's just I'm very happy to have another edition, and now I guess I only have seven more to get in the set, and I'm pretty sure that they have stopped making the replica match winners. So the nine match winners that I have are the only nine match winners that I'm ever probably going to get. So, so far, since there are 10 cards and I have three, I'm missing seven cards to complete this set. So leave your comments in the comment section below of what card do you think I should tackle next? Should I get Demoness, Dinosaur Wing, Iranoid, Mystical Elf, Red Scorpion, Running Lizard, or Zork? Personally, the one I want to get the most is Red Scorpion. Red Scorpion, in my opinion, looks the coolest out of the ones that I don't have. Have, but if you guys want to take a little time to research it, leave comments below of which one do you think I should tackle next. Do not forget to like the video. 800 likes would be the goal. It always helps the channel grow and I am extremely thankful for anybody that clicks the like button. It makes me happy and you guys could not believe how much it makes my day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I hope that you stay and I hope that you enjoy this video. Do not forget to subscribe and I hope you guys all have a great day and a better tomorrow and I will see you guys I think on Tuesday. Mm-hmm.